A major decision today from the U.S. Supreme Court ahead of the all-important Pennsylvania primary. The justices turned away Republican pleas to stop court-ordered congressional districts from taking effect. Eyewitness News anchor Siafa Lewis is live in the newsroom right now with what it all means. Siafa, good evening. Good evening, Yuki. The Supreme Court justice's decision today, if you will, does allow for an appeal to a three-judge panel that will consider the case down the line. That will impact elections after this year's, but for 2022, Pennsylvania is set. The Supreme Court of the United States has essentially decided to punt on the case brought to it by six Republican voters who objected to the congressional district map chosen last month by the Pennsylvania Supreme Court. In the opinion that was written by Judge Kavanaugh, um, stated that we were too close to the election to actually uh, make any changes right now. The congressional maps that were, or districts that were put forth by the Pennsylvania Supreme Court are in force for the 2022 election. In January, Pennsylvania Governor Tom Wolf vetoed the congressional map sent to his desk by the state's Republican-controlled legislature, saying it was highly skewed. The ones that the Republicans uh, out of the legislature sent to Governor Wolf uh, two months ago um, had about a uh, maybe a one to one and a half seat uh, favorability towards Republicans. Uh, and then the, the map that the court just put in, uh, either party could gain a majority. Last month, the Pennsylvania Supreme Court chose a map called the Carter Plan, which Wolf hails as mirroring the citizenry of the state. It's relatively indicative of Pennsylvania's purple status. The U.S. Supreme Court's ruling in this case had no dissents from any of the judges. In a ruling on a North Carolina congressional map, three conservative justices dissented, disagreeing with the role the North Carolina Supreme Court played in redrawing maps there. Four of the U.S. Supreme Court's conservative justices, Thomas, Alito, Gorsuch, and Kavanaugh, signaled a desire to hear a case in the future on the question of the judiciary ruling on laws and congressional maps which a state legislature has enacted. That could quite literally be a game changer when it comes to partisan gerrymandering across the country. Live in the newsroom, Seattle Lewis, CBS 3, Eyewitness News.